renowned American actor, narrator, and filmmaker, Morgan Freeman is celebrated for his distinctive deep voice and numerous accolades, including a Screen Actors Guild Award, a Golden Globe Award, and an Academy Award. Starting as a child in school plays, he gained fame in the 1970s with the children's TV series The Electric Company. Collaborating with Lori McCreary, Freeman founded the film production company Revelations Entertainment. He has received seven NDACP Image Awards and two Black Reel Awards for his outstanding work. This accomplished actor's career has left an indelible mark on the film industry, with his classic performances continuing to captivate audiences. Delving into various genres, Freeman's body of work has transcended time, leaving a lasting legacy in the world of cinema. Step into the enchanting world of this iconic actor's oeuvre and discover the depth of his contributions to the arts. Born on June 1, 1937, in Memphis, Tennessee, Morgan Freeman has made a significant mark in the film industry. Standing tall at 1.88 meters or 6 feet 2 inches, the actor has captivated audiences with his powerful performances and distinctive voice. In his spare time, Freeman indulges in his hobbies and interests. He is an avid sailor who finds solace in the vastness of the ocean. The actor has often spoken about his love for sailing and how it helps him clear his mind. Freeman has also mentioned that he enjoys spending time with his horses, which he owns. The peace and tranquility that comes with being around these animals are something that the actor cherishes. Moreover, Freeman is a licensed pilot who enjoys flying his own planes. The actor has often talked about the freedom and exhilaration that comes with flying. He has even incorporated his love for flying into his work, using it as a metaphor in some of his performances. In conclusion, Morgan Freeman is not just an accomplished actor, but also a man of many interests. His love for sailing, horses, and flying adds to his charm and makes him a fascinating personality. In the world of Hollywood, there are a select few actors who have made a lasting impact on the industry. One such actor is Morgan Freeman, a renowned thespian known for his captivating performances in various films and television shows. Freeman has been recognized for his contributions to the entertainment world, receiving numerous accolades throughout his career. In this article, we will delve into the life and accomplishments of this accomplished actor. In the world of entertainment, there are some names that stand out for their contributions to the art form. One such name is Morgan Freeman, a renowned actor known for his exceptional performances in various films and television shows. Morgan Freeman's journey as an actor began in the 1980s when he landed his first role in the film Driving Miss Daisy. Since then, he has become a household name with his iconic performances in movies like The Shawshank Redemption, Freeman, and The Dark Knight, Apart from acting, Morgan Freeman is also passionate about beekeeping. In fact, back in the year 2014, the actor started beekeeping, and now his house in Mississippi is home to 26 beehives. Morgan Freeman became interested in beekeeping after he discovered that bees are important for our environment, and their population is declining. Through his love for nature and commitment to preserving it, Morgan Freeman has not only contributed to the conservation of bees, but also inspired others to do the same. His dedication to this cause serves as a reminder that even small actions can make a big impact on the environment. In 2012, the actor Morgan Freeman made a significant political donation when he contributed a million dollars to support the presidential campaign of Barack Obama. This wasn't the first time that Freeman showed his support for Obama. He had also endorsed him in 2008. Freeman's political activism is just one aspect of his life, but he has also faced challenges in his personal life. In 2008, the actor was involved in a car accident that left him injured. Freeman and his female passenger, Damaris Meyer, had to be cut free from the car using hydraulic tools. Despite the severity of the accident, Freeman remained conscious and even joked with a photographer at the scene. The accident was a difficult experience for Freeman, but he showed resilience in the face of adversity. His ability to find humor in a challenging situation is a testament to his strength of character. Freeman's contributions to the world of film are numerous and significant. He has appeared in countless classic films and shows, and his distinctive voice is instantly recognizable. His political activism and philanthropy are just a few of the many ways that he has made a positive impact on the world. Despite the challenges he has faced, Freeman remains a beloved figure in Hollywood and beyond. His contributions to film and politics will continue to resonate for years to come. Nestled within the realm of Hollywood, Morgan Freeman, a man whose acting prowess is as enduring as his filmography, took a significant step back in 2004. 
The actor, known for his captivating roles in classic movies like Driving Miss Daisy and Shawshank Redemption, found a way to extend his reach beyond the silver screen. In that year, following the devastation Hurricane Ivan brought to the small island of Grenada in October 1967, Freeman's compassion for the victims took a tangible form. He recognized the need for assistance, and along with his equally talented wife at the time, Jeanette Otter Bradshaw, spearheaded the creation of the Granada Relief Fund. This initiative aimed to alleviate the hardship faced by the people of Grenada, who were struggling to rebuild their lives after the destructive cyclone. Their joint effort was a testament to not only their philanthropic hearts, but also the actor's ability to step out from the comfort of his iconic roles and make a lasting impact on the real world. For nearly a decade, from 1979 to 1989, Freeman and Jeanette's union stood strong, providing a stable foundation amidst the chaos of their shared humanitarian endeavors. As their marriage came to an end, their commitment to helping others remained steadfast, highlighting the actor's multifaceted character, which went beyond the silver screen and into the lives of those in need. Through his actions, Freeman, the actor, showed that his reach extends beyond the realm of films and TV shows, leaving an indelible mark on both Grenada and the hearts of those who knew him. His story continues to resonate with admirers, demonstrating the power of using fame for good and leaving a lasting legacy that transcends the entertainment industry. In 1984, Morgan Freeman's life took a significant turn when he entered into his second marriage with Myrna Nicole Lee. However, this union did not last forever. In December 2007, the couple decided to separate, and their divorce was finalized in September 2010. Despite the challenges he faced in his personal life, the actor's career continued to flourish. Throughout his life, Morgan Freeman has been a father to four children. His eldest child, Saifullah, was born in 1960, followed by Morgana in 1961, Alfonso in 1959, and Dina in 1955. Each of his children has undoubtedly brought joy and fulfillment to his life, and they have been a constant source of support and inspiration for him. Morgan Freeman's dedication to his craft has earned him a well-deserved place in the annals of film history. His ability to bring depth and nuance to every role he plays has made him a favorite among audiences and critics alike. From his early days on stage to his more recent forays into producing and directing, the actor has always been committed to telling compelling stories that resonate with audiences. Despite the challenges he has faced in his personal life, Morgan Freeman has remained a steadfast presence in the world of film. His contributions to the industry are immeasurable, and his legacy will undoubtedly endure for generations to come. As a father, husband, and artist, the actor has left an indelible mark on the world, and his impact will continue to be felt for years to come. Actress and filmmaker Morgan Freeman, best known for his deep, captivating voice in movies and on screen, had a personal side to his life that often went unnoticed by the public. This beloved actor, with a career spanning several decades, took on the role of a doting family man offset as well. In his marriage to Jeanette, they expanded their family by adopting his step-granddaughter, a young woman named Edina Hines. Born into Morgan's life as a result of his connection to Jeanette, Edina became an integral part of the Freeman household. As a proud guardian, Morgan and Myrna brought her up with love and care, nurturing her growth and supporting her dreams. Their bond was strong and testament to the actor's ability to balance his professional success with personal responsibilities. Tragically, Edena's life was cut short when she was tragically murdered in New York City in August 2015 at the age of 33. This unexpected loss shook the heart of the entire Freeman family, leaving a void that their friends, fans, and loved ones couldn't help but remember alongside his impressive body of work. Despite the sorrowful event, Morgan's legacy as a kind and compassionate man remained intact. His ability to bring characters to life on screen continued to resonate with audiences, serving as a reminder that even in the face of personal tragedy, his stories and performances transcended the boundaries of fiction and offered solace to those who knew him both as an actor and a family man. In the realm of film, where his step-granddaughter could not have possibly known, Morgan Freeman's nuanced portrayals and storytelling touched the hearts of millions of viewers, making his mark in the world of acting and leaving an enduring and enduring impression that goes beyond the silver screen. Born to Morgan Porterfield Freeman Sr., a barber, and Mamie Edna, a teacher, Morgan Freeman is the youngest of their four children. Growing up, he witnessed his father's dedication to his craft and his mother's passion for education, experiences that undoubtedly shaped his own work ethic 
and career path. Tragically, Morgan's father passed away in 1961 due to complications from cirrhosis, leaving a void in the family that would never truly be filled. Despite this loss, Morgan's mother continued to instill in him the values of hard work and determination, encouraging him to pursue his dreams and make something of himself. For years, Morgan's mother worked tirelessly as a cleaner at a local school, doing whatever it took to support her family and ensure that they had everything they needed to thrive. Sadly, she too passed away in 2000, but her legacy lived on through her son's incredible success and achievements. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks throughout his life, including struggles with racism and discrimination, Morgan persevered and became one of the most beloved and respected actors of all time. From his early days on stage to his iconic roles in films like The Shawshank Redemption and Driving Miss Daisy, he has captivated audiences around the world with his powerful performances and unforgettable presence. Throughout his career, Morgan has remained humble and dedicated to his craft, always striving to push boundaries and challenge himself in new and exciting ways. And although both of his parents have since passed away, their influence continues to resonate deeply within him, shaping his artistry and driving him forward towards even greater success and acclaim. According to DNA analysis, Morgan Freeman has ancestral ties to the Tariq and Songhai peoples of Niger. This revelation highlights the actor's diverse heritage and deep cultural roots. Delving further into his family history, it was discovered that some of the actor's great-great-grandparents were slaves who made their way to Mississippi after originating from North Carolina. This heartbreaking but significant discovery sheds light on the painful past that many African Americans have had to endure. The journey of Morgan Freeman's ancestors reflects the broader experience of the African diaspora and the resilience of those who survived slavery and its aftermath. Despite the challenges they face, these individuals persevered and contributed to building the vibrant culture we know today. As we learn more about Morgan Freeman's background, we can better understand the experiences and histories that shaped him as an artist and individual. By exploring our own ancestry, we too can gain valuable insights into our past and appreciate the rich tapestry of cultures and traditions that make up our shared human story. Born in Memphis, Tennessee, Morgan Freeman's childhood was far from stable. As an infant, he was sent to live with his paternal grandmother in Charleston, South Carolina. The actor moved frequently throughout his youth living in Greenwood, Gary, Mississippi and Greenwood before eventually settling in Chicago, Illinois. Despite the constant changes in scenery, Freeman's early life was filled with experiences that would later shape his successful career in film and television. At the age of 16, he contracted pneumonia, which led to him discovering his passion for acting while recovering in the hospital. Throughout his childhood, Freeman's love for storytelling and performance was evident, he would often put on shows for his family and friends, showcasing his natural talent for captivating an audience. It was clear that this classic performer was destined for greatness, even from a young age. Despite the challenges he faced early on, Freeman's resilience and determination allowed him to pursue his dreams and become one of the most respected actors in the industry. His ability to bring characters to life in a way that resonates with audiences is a testament to his enduring impact on the world of film and television. Morgan Freeman's education journey began at Broad Street High School, where he discovered his passion for acting. At the young age of nine, he made his acting debut in a school play, taking on the lead role. This experience sparked a flame within him, and he continued to hone his craft. By the time Freeman was 12 years old, he had already won a statewide drama competition. His talent was undeniable, and he began to make a name for himself in the world of theater. Freeman's talent was not limited to the stage, as he also began performing in a radio show based in Nashville, Tennessee. Despite his early success, Freeman remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued to work hard and push himself to become the best actor he could be. His dedication paid off as he went on to have a long and successful career in film and television. Freeman's early education and exposure to the arts played a crucial role in shaping him into the accomplished actor he is today. His passion for acting was ignited at a young age and he has been captivating audiences ever since. From his early days on the stage to his iconic roles in film and television, Freeman's impact on the world of entertainment is undeniable. After graduating from high school in 1955, Morgan Freeman had the opportunity to attend Jackson State University thanks to a partial drama scholarship he received. However, the actor decided to take a different path and enlisted in the U.S. Air Force instead. 
Freeman's passion for acting was already evident during his high school years, where he honed his skills and developed a love for the stage. It's interesting to imagine how his career might have unfolded if he had accepted the scholarship and pursued higher education in drama. Despite turning down the scholarship, Freeman's talent and dedication to his craft eventually propelled him to the top of the film and television industry. His career spans over five decades, and he has become one of the most respected and beloved actors in Hollywood. It's fascinating to think about how one decision can shape the course of a person's life. If Freeman had chosen to attend Jackson State University, he might have missed out on the experiences and opportunities that ultimately led him to become the successful actor he is today. Nevertheless, Freeman's decision to enlist in the Air Force also played a significant role in his personal and professional growth. During his time in the military, he developed discipline, leadership skills, and a strong work ethic that would serve him well throughout his career. In the end, Morgan Freeman's journey to becoming a successful actor is a testament to his talent, hard work, and determination. Even though he turned down a partial drama scholarship, he still managed to make a name for himself in the entertainment industry and leave a lasting impact on audiences around the world. After completing his service as an automatic tracking radar repairman in the military, Morgan Freeman rose to the rank of airman first class. His four years of service had come to an end, and he made the decision to move to Los Angeles. It was here that the actor began attending acting classes at the Pasadena Playhouse, honing his craft and pursuing his passion for the art form. In addition to his acting studies, Freeman also took dancing lessons in San Francisco. These diverse artistic pursuits allowed him to develop a well-rounded skill set and a unique style that would eventually become his trademark. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks throughout his career, Freeman remained dedicated to his craft and continued to push himself as an artist. His unwavering commitment to his work has earned him numerous accolades and a place among the most respected and admired actors of his generation. Throughout his career, Freeman has brought to life some of the most memorable and iconic characters in film and television. His ability to embody complex and nuanced roles has captivated audiences and cemented his status as a true master of his craft. Even today, Freeman continues to inspire and entertain audiences with his powerful performances and unforgettable screen presence. Whether he is playing a wise and compassionate leader or a cunning and ruthless villain, the actor brings a level of depth and authenticity to every role that is truly unparalleled. Before finding success as an accomplished actor, Morgan Freeman held various early jobs to make ends meet. One of these positions included working as a transcript clerk at Los Angeles City College. However, it was clear that his true passion lay elsewhere. In fact, the actor had already begun pursuing multiple dancing and acting opportunities prior to his time at the college. Finally, in 1967, the actor made his off-Broadway debut in the play The Nigger Lovers. This groundbreaking production tackled themes of interracial relationships during the civil rights movement, offering a powerful platform for the actor to demonstrate his talent and commitment to thought-provoking roles. His performance marked the start of a prolific career that would span decades and solidify his status as a Hollywood icon. After making a modest start in films like Who Says I Can't Ride a Rainbow, and Blade Morgan Freeman took a significant step forward in his career when he made his Broadway debut in the musical Hello, Dolly. In 1968, his performance was warmly received by both critics and audiences alike, paving the way for more opportunities in theater. The following year, the actor embarked on a new venture, a role in the beloved children's TV show The Electric Company. As one of the main cast members, Freeman played various parts, including the recurring character Easy Reader. This show brought him much needed financial stability and recognition among Americans, especially families with young children who grew up watching it. Freeman continued working on the electric company until 1975, after which he decided to move on to other projects. Despite leaving behind a successful stint on television, the actor had already left an indelible mark on American pop culture through his work on this classic educational program. Additionally, in 1978, the actor appeared in two stage productions, showcasing his talent in White Pelicans and The Mighty Gents. After this stage experience, he took on some minor roles in various films. His film career began to take off in the 1980s. In 1981, he starred in Eyewitness, a project that helped establish him in the film industry. Following that, in 1984 and 1985, he appeared in Harry and Son and Marie, respectively. These roles marked significant steps in his journey 
as he transitioned from theater to more prominent film roles, laying the groundwork for a successful career that would follow. Each of these early appearances showcased his dedication and ability, setting the stage for future achievements. As time passed, the actor's film career continued to evolve, and he would eventually become one of the most respected figures in Hollywood. The journey from stage to screen is an impressive one, highlighting his commitment to his craft and his ability to engage audiences in different formats. In 1989, the actor Morgan Freeman took on the lead role in the comedy drama film Driving Miss Daisy. This movie tells the story of an African-American driver named Hope Colburn, played by Freeman, who forms a deep bond with his elderly Jewish passenger, Miss Daisy Werfen. Set in the southern United States during the mid-20th century, the film explores themes of race, age, and social change. Freeman's nuanced portrayal of Hoke earned him critical acclaim and helped establish him as a leading man in Hollywood. Throughout the 1990s, the actor continued to appear in a series of hit films, further solidifying his status as a beloved and respected figure in the industry. One of his most memorable roles from this period was in the 1994 prison drama The Shawshank Redemption, which has since become a classic of modern cinema. In the film, Freeman plays Ellis Boyd, Red Redding, a lifer at Shawshank State Penitentiary who becomes friends with Andy Dufresne, a banker falsely accused of murder. Over time, their friendship helps both men maintain hope and dignity despite being incarcerated. Freeman's understated yet powerful performance in the Shawshank Redemption has resonated with audiences around the world. His ability to convey complex emotions through subtle gestures and intonation makes him a masterful storyteller, able to bring depth and humanity to even the smallest moments on screen. Whether he's playing a wise mentor, a charismatic leader, or a witty everyman, the actor consistently delivers captivating performances that leave a lasting impression. In 2003, the actor Morgan Freeman graced audiences with his remarkable talent in the superhit film Bruce Almighty. This classic comedy drama saw him sharing screen space with Jim Carrey, where he played the role of God. His impeccable performance left viewers in awe further solidifying his status as one of Hollywood's most respected figures. The following year, in 2004, moviegoers witnessed the actor's incredible range when he starred alongside Hilary Swank in the powerful sports drama Million Dollar Baby. As the corner man and mentor to a determined female boxer, Freeman delivered a captivating and heartfelt portrayal that resonated deeply with fans worldwide. He even took home the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for this unforgettable role. Finally, in 2009, the actor continued to challenge himself by appearing in another gripping sports drama, Invictus. Here, he collaborated with Matt Damon under the direction of Clint Eastwood. Set against the backdrop of South Africa's post-apartheid era, Freeman embodied Nelson Mandela, former president and anti-apartheid revolutionary, bringing depth and grace to this iconic figure. Through these dynamic roles, it became clear that Morgan Freeman remained steadfast in selecting projects that inspire and entertain millions around the globe. In 2013, the renowned actor Morgan Freeman graced the big screen in the film, Now You See Me. This classic heist thriller revolves around a group of magicians known as the Four Horsemen, who pull off elaborate tricks to expose the corruption of a wealthy businessman. Freeman's portrayal of Thaddeus Bradley, a former magician turned debunker, added depth to the film's intriguing plot. Two years later, in 2015, the actor reprised his role in Now, you see me too, which continued the story of the four horsemen as they navigated the dangerous world of magic and crime. Once again, Freeman's character, Thaddeus Bradley, played a pivotal role in the film's unfolding drama. In addition to his work in the Now You See Me series, the actor also lent his voice to the beloved 2014 animated film The Lego Movie. In this family-friendly blockbuster, Freeman voiced the character of Vitruvius, a wise and powerful wizard who mentors the film's protagonist Emmett. With his distinctive voice and commanding presence, the actor brought Vitruvius to life, creating a character that resonated with audiences of all ages. Overall, Morgan Freeman's contributions to the world of film have been both enduring and impactful. His ability to bring depth and nuance to his roles, whether in live action or animated films, has earned him a place as one of Hollywood's most respected and beloved actors. And with his continued work in the industry, there is no doubt that the actor will continue to leave his mark on the world of cinema for years to come. Renowned actor Morgan Freeman had a remarkable year in entertainment, starting in 2017 when he took on the role of an intriguing character in the film Just Getting Started. 
This comedy offered a glimpse into his ability to bring a touch of humor to his screen performances, delighting audiences with his distinctive voice and seasoned acting prowess. The following year, in 2018, he graced the big screen in Brian Banks, a thought-provoking drama that showcased his versatility as he tackled the true life story of resilience and perseverance. Morgan's talent and depth continued to resonate in 2019 as he starred in the visually stunning and suspenseful The Poison Rose. This film, a crime thriller, allowed him to delve into a darker, more complex character, further cementing his status as a thespian who can adapt seamlessly to different genres. As 2020 rolled around, it was announced that Morgan would make an appearance in The Comeback Trail, an upcoming crime comedy that promises a delightful blend of humor and edginess, marking another chapter in his illustrious career. His fans eagerly awaited this film, knowing that any project featuring the actor would leave a lasting impact in the world of cinema. In conclusion, Morgan Freeman's body of work continued to evolve and entertain audiences throughout this period solidifying his position as an iconic figure whose performances always leave a mark and resonate with fans of all ages. His contributions to the realm of acting speak volumes about his talent and the enduring legacy he has created in the world of film. In 1997, the film Kiss the Girls showcased the talents of acclaimed actor Morgan Freeman. This classic thriller, based on the novel by James Patterson, earned Freeman a substantial paycheck of $5 million. But the actor's ventures extend beyond the silver screen. Freeman is a co-owner of Mediti, a fine dining restaurant that offers a sophisticated culinary experience. The restaurant's name is derived from the Mediti National Park in Bolivia, reflecting the actor's appreciation for the natural world. In addition to his culinary pursuits, Freeman also has a passion for music. He is the proprietor of Ground Zero, a blues club located in Clarksdale, Mississippi. This classic venue showcases up and coming musicians and pays tribute to the rich history of blues music. From the big screen to the dinner table and the stage, Morgan Freeman continues to leave his mark on various industries. His impact has transcended the realm of entertainment, making him a beloved figure in the world of film and beyond. Whether he's captivating audiences in a new role or sharing his love of music with fans, the actor's enduring legacy resonates with people of all ages. In 2012, the actor known as Morgan Freeman reportedly earned a staggering sum of $12 million. This prolific artist then went on to appear in multiple films over the course of the subsequent year. Amongst these were Oblivion, Olympus Has Fallen, Now You See Me, The Dark Knight Rises, and The Magic of Belle Isle. According to certain estimations, the earnings from these pictures alone amounted to at least $30 million for Freeman. With his unmistakable voice and powerful screen presence, it comes as no surprise that this veteran actor commands such impressive compensation for his work in cinema. Morgan Freeman, the esteemed actor, has amassed a substantial net worth of $250 million through his illustrious career in film and television. His primary residence is a beautiful house located in Charleston, Mississippi, where he often enjoys the tranquility of the countryside. In addition to his Mississippi home, Freeman also owns properties in New York City, providing him with a convenient base in the bustling heart of one of the world's most iconic cities. His real estate portfolio also includes a house in the British Virgin Islands, reflecting his love for tropical landscapes and warm climates. Interestingly, the actor has transformed his 124-acre Mississippi residence into a sanctuary for honeybees, showcasing his commitment to environmental conservation and his appreciation for the natural world. This unique project not only highlights his passion for the preservation of these vital pollinators, but also serves as a testament to his multifaceted interests beyond acting. Indeed, Morgan Freeman's life and career are a tapestry of intriguing stories, achievements, and contributions to the world of cinema. His enduring legacy as a captivating and versatile performer continues to resonate with audiences, leaving an indelible mark on the annals of film history. Whether through his classic roles or his more recent projects, his impact has transcended generations and genres, earning him a cherished place in the hearts of moviegoers worldwide. As we take a step back and reflect on the life and accomplishments of this accomplished thespian, it is impossible not to be captivated by the intricate web of experiences and talents that have shaped his remarkable journey. From his humble beginnings to his meteoric rise in Hollywood, Morgan Freeman's story is a testament to the power of perseverance, passion, and the pursuit of one's dreams. In the end, the actor's net worth and residences are but a small part of his rich and multifaceted life. 
His true legacy lies in the countless lives he has touched and inspired through his art, his advocacy, and his unwavering dedication to making the world a better place for all its inhabitants. And so, as we continue to cherish his contributions to the world of film and beyond, we look forward to the many exciting chapters still to come in the life of this truly iconic figure. Renowned actor Morgan Freeman has quite the impressive collection of vehicles in his garage. Among his prized possessions are a Jaguar XJs, a 1966 Cadillac Coupe de Ville, a Chevy Silverado, a Tesla Model S, and a 1997 Nissan Maxima. Each car reflects a different aspect of his personality, from the sleek elegance of the Jaguar to the eco-friendly innovation of the Tesla. But the actor's love for fine machines doesn't stop on the ground. He also happens to be a skilled pilot who takes to the skies in his own personal fleet of aircraft. In fact, Morgan reportedly owns three private planes, which he enjoys flying himself. His private aircraft includes an MFS SJ-30, a Cessna 414 twin-engine prop, and a Cessna Citation 501. One of his most notable purchases was the SJ-30, which set him back a cool 7 million back in 2009. This particular model is known for its speed, efficiency, and comfortable interior, making it the perfect choice for cross-country flights. Whether he's cruising down the highway or soaring through the clouds, one thing is clear Morgan Freeman has a true passion for transportation. From classic cars to state-of-the-art jets, he knows how to appreciate the finer things in